but finished the match a lot more focused. He can't afford to have a poor first session against Santi McGill. Just, just be careful he doesn't slip past them. Good line. Well, he did attempt to cut that. It'll take both players a little while to settle in again. Yeah, well played. Mm. Yeah, he could. He, he popped the black into the right. Trump, no. Nowhere near his brilliant best in winning that first round, but as he said, you hope to improve as the tournament goes on, but you've got to... It's a better effort. Oh, is it going to reach? <laughs> Five minutes. And that was the problem. He was worried about slipping past the red, but... Just develop the pink there, that last little nudge. ball he's got to be careful with. One. Twelve. Anthony Miguel, twelve. Quietly as you can, please. Thank you.
John. Bon. Ante Miguel one. Anthony Miguel, 24. The Trump for. One. Yeah, Judd. We've seen earlier, and well, he missed the blue. Eye. Needs a good kiss on the green. Um, it still makes it, when it is one of these types of frames, it almost makes it more important to win it. Because you could. I like this choice of shot Eight. here, playing up for the pink. 28 in front. 50. And that was the reason. Anthony Miguel, 21. Lifting the butt of the queue and bending it round the pink. Needs one stick. Yeah, and would Six. only need one snooker to win because he would get nine. Hmm, I wouldn't have played it that way. The foul. Judd Trump, nine. Miguel won't be too concerned about that. I think Judd Trump will. Anthony Miguel. I 
have the curtains gone up and no distractions from the other table now. Which he managed to get on the cue ball. This is a very good line with the cue ball. It goes deeper. But at the moment it's been played at a pretty pedestrian pace for him. He's not been allowed to play to his strengths yet. One. I don't think the brown was always going to be a problem that Anthony McGilfoy. Just got to try and get the white as close to the cushion as possible when the yellow and brown are off their spots. <laughs> this is a pretty good effort. Very good. Anthony McGill one. It's going to have to be patient here is played. Let's see how he can cue this one. Very one. good. <laughs> or, you know, a big break winning a frame in one visit. But I don't know what he's played there. Cue ball through the reds. No, that's a good shot. That's a good shot. Shots that drop on a colour. As I said, that can that can Yes, those kind of shots wow. that Judd was going for that was putting the fear into his opponents because they And he wasn't too bad in two thousand and nineteen when he beat But as I say, you've got to be patient when the frames... <coughs> it's going to be a pretty straightforward shot in the end. He couldn't see much else to the green. So that was an attempt at a double. Didn't get close to it, but... And sometimes... You just can't. Mm. 
Mm, that needs to pull up. That white needs to pull up. Oh. One. Five. Especially if he's got a mite from this position. That's opened things up somewhat, but he hasn't dropped nice. Anthony McGill. Nice break in this match. I know we're only into the second frame. 24 and 14 for both players, so it just shows you the way. the cue ball back up the bulk end. Pretty good cue ball. This is pretty good return safety, but he certainly superb. In fact, he's a little bit unlucky One. because if he flicks the pink there. Yeah, well played. Excellent. No, oh, that's good. Two reds, sir. Thanks. Twelve. That red, the snares, the... And the fact that he tried to force the white out. Now the green. Yeah, Judd has got played a fantastic shot here. <laughs> but he just hit it far too thin. Thanks. Perfectly on the pink. And taking the chance to try and move the other. Eight. He certainly has. Fifteen. The first frame lasted. Oh, why did I? Why did I open my mouth? <laughs> it's been five out of five. He's played some. Two. Is he going to get away with it? Thank you. Mm.
Three. Yeah, too tough. But he's he's played it. He might as well have had a go at the brown after. Poor effort, you'd have to say, from Judd. As I say, to me, it doesn't look with it. But the second session, his first round against Hossein Dafai was a lot better. But for the last three or four years, in terms of winning tournaments, wow. and again, that nice. was a shocker. It really was. Such a weak effort, wasn't it? Oh, wait, let me readjust here. Where's that brown? I can you see enough of the He certainly could. Oh, oh, look what he's done. The sort of chance he needed to win this frame. Four. Anything difficult. He's not looked like pot. Nine. Well, two frames. panned out in those two opening frames. Right. Well done. Well done. Yeah, easily. One. Yes, yeah, another sign if you're not as confident as normally. Yeah, how Judd Trump would love to. Thirty. Where's this going? Judge Trump, 20. <coughs> that will improve, of course. But, as I say, neither player have started on fire. Sometimes the balls dictate how frames go. He's overdone it. Is it oh, it's all the cue ball. Chance to get right back into this frame. Where's that cue ball going? Surely not. It's just hard work at the moment for both players. Found the path. That's excellent. Seven. 
play well, sometimes it can spark the other player into doing the same. Fifth. A lot more tricky. tried. Even when he switched his hands, he normally, he'd been a lot more pot. He did try. But you got to get the pot, he's moved the red, but no, he's not quite with it. Uh, One. This first session is okay. The balls are running awkwardly for both players, but always oh, missed it. And when you get into the second round, you think, you know, you, that's what we always say: get through the first round, One. then you can relax into the tournament. Three sessions. Judge Trump six. Found the gap. And this is a free nice. ball. Well, look what he's finished. Well, what's going on out there? will come back onto its spot, but... Five. Oh, that's not exactly where he wanted it. And that's what he tried. He tried to arc the cue ball Eight. in between blue and pink. Oh, 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 the brown could be in. The brown could be in. Oh, Things are running in this match. No, Four. he's fine. Good shot. Nine. So three longish frames, but bother about that as the pink drops. That's one way of getting everything safe. Yeah, the way the frames have gone here, I think both players would be glad to get to the mid-session. Yeah, I think if this frame follows in the same vein as the first three, I think both players would be heading to the practice tables, I think. Slight adjustment. the white doesn't move. <coughs> and this red behind the black. That's a bit too narrow. Didn't yeah. judge that one.
That was a long way off. One. So, it's not the conditions. Eight. Twenty-three. This has been hard going because of the way the first two frames. Thirty-eight. Mm. Just let the cue ball rest on to the right corner. Forty-six. And turn this red will free the one along nicely here. Already six. 54. Player into uh, good form, but we're going to have to wait until after the wired stage. <coughs> okay, it's a three second little session of four frames. He doesn't. 76. Seven. Six century here. Eighty-five. Ninety-three. Ninety hands as well, does Anthony. Three very awkward frames. This is a bit higher now, this match 111 116 122 yeah it was a costly in uh, <laughs> to play this afternoon in the company of Dennis Taylor and Stephen Hendry all years ago thank you Hazel and Reset button being used. One. Yeah. Now this is seventeen. There's two. How is that? No, that's a much better choice because there looks to be a possible plant if he went into. 23. In a frame. Just to make him feel he's involved in 20. this. Well played. This one for a left-hander is okay. 53. I've played this well. So maybe no need to go into the bunch. 58. That's right in the center of the pocket. Like I said at the time when Anthony, it's amazing the number of times one player starts. Eight. Brother Jack. 87. Just shows you how quickly. He made 90 centuries last. Very well played. Jack Trump. Needs to pull up. Doesn't matter about that. 
and then enjoy it. And that's in the space of two or three hours. It's amazing how it can, can switch and change. The scoreline can have some effect, but it can also be just one or two balls you pass are bad. Things aren't as bad as I thought they were. OK, well, our top break was 30 in the first three frames and we've had back-to-back -to -back tons. How things change so quickly. Find a safety shot. It really annoys you. Once again. Not quite. That's not the best safety shot that Judd's ever played. He hit it. Did well to avoid those reds. <laughs> At the moment, it's it. See the cue ball directly into the pink. Yeah, that's what he's done. He's tried to just open things up, but he's been very unlucky on the side. Oh. Wow. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, it was the right shot. He must have been feeling more confident. Eight. Fifteen. 22. The red is pretty much under his chin. 29. Two easy reds, then. Wow, that came out of the blue. into the right corner. Six. If it does, that will be helpful. Oh, that was a very heavy contact indeed. Suddenly he's got his eye in with those long-range pots. Twenty-four. This will not run far enough, unfortunately, for Judd. It will have to be a safety. This Judd Trump, 
every bit as important as the ones won in one visit, particularly for Trump, who's looking to tie the match up. Could. He could take the double on, and he's got it. Could be very significant for Trump. Thanks. Well, well, heart in the mouth should tie up the match. Seventeen. I think there are encouraging signs for Judd Trump. His long game has looked in better shape. Trump to break. So, Judd Trump gets frame number seven of eight underway in this afternoon session. A 3-1 down, a 5-3 advantage. He's gone for the double. And guess. Nine. Seventeen. There's a plant in there somewhere. Oh. That shot. Absolutely true, Phil, yes. But there have been quite a few modifications of this new variety of chalk, and I can assure you, having... Trump. The line looks pretty good, but is it a little short of pace? Five. Fact... One. Nine. In the last couple of frames and a half, and is now in a position. How awkward the frames have been. Seventy. And all. Again, difference, hasn't it? Twenty. Bed. Last couple of completed seasons. No mean feat given the standard and the strength and depth these days. Stratospheric standards he set when he's been the dominant player. Judd Trump paying a good deal of attention to his tip there ahead of this eighth and final frame of session one. But it seems to be working pretty well. I was paying close attention there to the tip of Judd Trump and it appears a little bit, which indicates possibly a tear in the tip. How big a cause for concern might that be for Trump? A tournament, never mind the World Championship, but anyway, we'll see. Elby and Yan Bing Tao, Yan resuming 9-7 in front. That'll be on Eurosport 1, and very close. What's the damage? 
That's a great red from Anthony McGill, particularly given that he'd gone half an hour without one. Five. So Anthony deciding to go into them in the end. Anthony McGill, ten. <laughs> Getting out of this session unharmed after a shaky start, being 3-1 behind. One. That's a share of this session. And he's now got a chance to at least... ...balls in this frame. Oh, can he finally capitalise? Develop a few reds. Oh, dear. Anthony McGill, 50. Here. Take the cable up towards the green. Oh. Oh. Well. He could get to the point. It was okay after all, and finally, Anthony McGill. Yes, the snooker has oh. been centric, really, in some ways. With no fluency or rhythm to his game. Eighty. Wanted not to have contested this final frame, he'd have been delighted. Yes, really frustrated to have come out of this session. Because it means we're back where we started, really. Level is now our best of 17 for a place in the World Championship quarterfinals. Anthony McGill hoping. 54. Judd Trump for the ninth. 55. Monday evening for the deciding session. Response this though from McGill. One or two things went wrong at the start of this frame. He had to bide his time.